Want to learn about stocks, cryptocurrencies, NFTs, and the metaverse? Join richtv.io. Hi, how's everybody doing today? I'm your host, Rich. Here we have a Rich TV Live with our very special guest, the executive director, Nick Standish of Marina Bay Capital Corp. How are you doing today, Nick? I'm doing great, Rich. Thanks for having me. Oh, it's a pleasure. Excited to have you on the show. And Nick, why don't we start off with you telling us a little bit about yourself and how you got involved with Marina Bay Capital Corp. Yeah, you bet. So I'm an entrepreneur, uh, investor, executive. I've worked in a range of different fields. Um, I was fortunate enough to be uh, mentored by a, a pretty well-known venture capitalist based out of Vancouver. Um, he's passed away now, but um, you know, I learned a lot, a lot from him. Got a great range of contacts and, and strategies of how to attack the capital markets from from working under his tutelage. Um, and he was actually partners with this group of gentlemen over in Singapore, and um, he passed away in September of 2021. Uh, I knew that they were considering uh, starting up a new business, doing exactly what Marina Bay Capital is prior to David passing away. And after he passed away, I reached out and introduced myself and proposed that uh, I step in and do it with them. And that was uh, in December of 2021. And by February 2nd, we'd started the business. And uh, here we are today. Uh, we've generated $2 million in revenue in the first 10 months of business. We're already cash flow positive. Uh, we're profitable. Um, so, I mean, there's a lot to be said for that, uh, especially given the year that we've had in the, in the capital markets. And I mean, just the world as a whole. I agree. Congratulations on your success thus far. Now, the Thank company you. is a brand new IPO. Can you tell yeah. us what is the biggest reason why investors should be looking to invest into Marina Bay Capital Corp? Yeah, you bet. I mean, you know, I'll probably give you a few reasons. For one, it's it's extremely tightly held. Um, it, it's 100% insider ownership. Um, we're a high growth company. We're based in the highest growing region, fastest growing region in the world. Uh, and we intend to pay a 50% dividend of net profit after tax by the end of financial year 2023. Um, so you've got yourself a growth story with sustainable revenues that will pay a dividend. Um, We've run the business through several different valuation models based on the current state of the business today. Uh, we've taken the average of, of all of those different models and come up with a number of 40 million US. Uh, and then for our raise, uh, we priced it at a discount to that number and we're currently raising capital to $25 million pre-money valuation, which we think is um, very attractive pricing for investors. And, and the reason we've done it that way is we just want to illustrate that there's significant upside here to anybody that comes in at this level. That sounds fantastic. Now with the current market conditions, investors are looking for fundamental growth and wanting to look for solid revenue growth. What is Marina Bay's roadmap for 2023 and how do you believe it will give confidence to investors? Yeah. So, I mean, we've, we've signed up for, or sorry, five full service clients now. So that's um, that gives us a, a significant ca upfront cash fee of, of about an average income of 400,000 per client. Uh, and then we're gonna work with these clients for the next 12 to 18 months on raising capital, structuring them properly uh, and getting them positioned for their go public transactions. So we generate revenues from the advisory piece of that, but we also get the chance to participate in the upside of, of their listing and when they get their liquidity event. So, I mean, with that, we have a really well-rounded business with what I call a, a you know, using a baseball analogy, uh, singles, doubles, triples, and home run strategy. And, and I think that that's something that can really resonate with investors. So. You know, we, we, we have several lines of business that generates that consistent cash flow um, that we're going to be able to show on our balance sheet every quarter. Um, but then we also take a percentage on listing with our full service clients, we call them, um, which gives us a chance to participate in their upside further down the road. And, and that's when our financials get really interesting. When you If you look at our forecasts going into uh, 23 and 24, the numbers start to get quite high. And that's as our clients um, will start to have liquidity events or, or list on an exchange. 
That's like music to my ears here at Rich TV Live. We love to identify undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed companies. So we love to find growth stories. Now, Nick, what would you say are the top three milestones that Marina Bay Capital Corp wants to hit for 2023? Yeah, so I mean, big one, we want to pay our first dividend to shareholders. Uh, we're shareholders, so we're aligned with anybody that comes in. We pay ourselves very little. Uh, I'm the highest paid guy in the company, and I'm paid $5,000 Canadian per month. The reason we've done that is because of our dividend policy. As we invite shareholders in, we want to be aligned with them. So that's a big milestone for us. We're looking forward to that. Um, so paying our first dividend. Uh, we've got a goal of, of training at least six additional local representatives in Vietnam, Indonesia, India, Malaysia, and the Philippines. We see huge opportunities in those regions. Uh, they're massively underserved and, and just ripe, ripe for Marina Bay Capital to come in and, and really capture a lot of that growth. Um, and then, you know, the third would be our our, our listing. I mean, we, we have a goal of going public in late 2023. And the very aggressive goals thereafter to uplist to the NASDAQ um, once minimum listing requirements are met. And I mean, you know, if you take a look at our forecast and you look at our capital structure, we may meet those, those NASDAQ listing requirements uh, sooner than 2024 um, if we continue to hit these milestones and hit our goals. So um, now's a great time to invest with us. Now's a great time to get on the cap table. It's our first uh, round that we've opened it up to to anybody outside of our, our insider group. Um, so, yeah. That's great. Now, can you also tell us what are your top three products that Marina Bay Capital Corp offers its customers that would pique investors' interests? Yeah, so um, one of our, our favorite products is Fairness Opinions. We've just brought in the expertise to, to offer those. And these are, these are um, it's a highly profitable product and, and they're in huge demand, um, especially with all of the consolidation and MA that's happening across the world now. So, so that's, that's a product that we are really pushing um, to, that's kind of our singles and doubles strategy that I mentioned earlier. Um, another one that we're really focusing on is, is taking advantage of the Jobs Act um, and the new rules in the states. So um, running online fundraising campaigns for our clients under the regulation A, C, F, D, or S regimes. Um, and then our full service product, which is public listing advisory and arrangement services. I mean, that's, that's our big one. We take an upfront retainer and then we take a percentage of shares upon listing of, of the target. Uh, and we're very diligent about who we pick for for the for that product. Um, we we look at it as an investment, a long term investment, um, and we have a committee that approves before we we sign those guys on. Now, Nick, is there anything else you would want investors to know about Marina Bay Capital Corp. today? Yeah, I mean, I've already said this, but you know, this is the fastest growing part of the world. Uh, it's going to be that way for the next twenty years. You just have to spend. 15 minutes on the internet to, to verify that what I'm saying is true. Um, the other piece of that though, is this is a really difficult part of the world to navigate. And, and that's for a range of reasons, whether it be cultural language, nuances with the local laws. But what we have is, is, is extensive experience in all of these different countries. We've got boots on the ground and we understand how to navigate these things. So this is a way for investors to get exposure to the fastest growing part of the world without having to go through the brain damage of, of uh, finding their own deal in Vietnam or, or, or Indonesia that's you know going to be the next unicorn. I think it's a great idea. And those are really fast growing economies, like you mentioned. What is the best way for investors to get in touch with the company if they have any questions about Marina Bay Capital Corp? Yeah, so my email is Nick at marinabaycapital.co. Uh, you could also uh, reach us through the website. Um, you can reach me on my LinkedIn. Um, and yeah, if, if you're interested to invest, try any one of those three. And I'm happy to jump on the phone and speak with any interested investor. Very excited today to be speaking with the executive director of Marina Bay Capital Corp, Nick Standish. I must remind everyone that Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes. Please do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything we talk about or discuss. In saying that, we love IPOs, initial public offerings. We love to get in early 
in early stage growth companies. And this is another one we think everyone should put their attention to. So everyone put Marina Bay Capital Corp on your watch list, put it on your radar. And Nick, thank you for joining us today. Great. Thank you very much, Rich. I'd love to get the opportunity to come back and speak with you sometime soon when we've got some more exciting news. That sounds great, Nick. We'll be watching very, very closely. Thank you for watching today, everybody. If you're not winning, you're probably not watching. We bring you the winners, we bring you the news, CEO interviews, and we bring them to you first. Have a great day, everyone. Thanks, Nick. And we'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks, Rich.